Last week, I got a great viewer question from Jeff Konecki about using at time zone. I thought this question was particularly relevant with daylight savings time coming up for a lot of different areas in the world in the next few weeks, so I figured, hey, let's turn my answer to Jeff into a video. This year, in the Eastern Standard Time Zone where I live, daylight savings time kicks in on March 10th, 2019 at 2 a.m. What that means is that right now I'm five hours behind UTC, but when daylight savings time kicks in, I'll be only four hours behind UTC. So if I'm storing all my date times in my database as UTC, I can use at time zone to deal with these daylight savings times conversions of going from five to four hours behind UTC Real, relatively easily. So imagine I have these two variables, these two date time two variables. One is pre-DST or daylight savings time, and one is post-DST, and those times correspond to the UTC timestamps of right before daylight savings times kicks in and right when daylight savings times kicks in. If I want to be able to convert those UTC timestamps to my Eastern Standard Time time zone, I just use at time zone, and it should work. And while that sounds great, if you actually look at the results of that query, they don't show minus five hour and minus four hour offsets like you might think they do. And what this problem boils down to is that SQL Server doesn't know what time zone your date time data types are in, right? We made our assumption that this data was in UTC, but SQL Server doesn't default to that or anything. And so when we use at time zone, what actually happens, and this is what the documentation says, at time zone will convert whatever this unknown date time value is into the target time zone. So if we're saying at time zone Eastern Standard Time, it's gonna assume our original date time is in Eastern Standard Time already. So that's why at 6.59 a.m. versus 7 a.m., we're already in daylight savings time. That's why we saw that four hour negative offset. So while at time zone will correctly handle time zone changes and daylight savings time changes, you need to run it on data that SQL Server knows the original time zone of. So how can we do that? One way we can do it is just to specify at time zone twice. Since at time zone, when faced with a date time that it doesn't know the time zone of, is just gonna convert it to whatever you say right after the at time zone function, what we can say is at time zone UTC to specify that our two date times are in UTC. And then we say at time zone again to actually convert them to Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Savings Time. If we do that, you'll see the results show negative five hour and negative four hour offsets like you would expect. And while that solution works, it's a little clunky to have to say at time zone twice. So the other solution is to actually store your time zone offset data as part of your date time. But your date time, your date time two data types can't store that offset information. The only data type in SQL Server that can store an offset is the date time offset data type. So if we rewrite our variables in our original example to include the plus zero hour offset indicating that our data timestamps are in UTC, and then we call the at time zone function on it, you'll see that our, our results are correct like we expect. Our first variable value is five hours behind UTC, and our second value is four hours behind UTC. So the key thing to remember here is that you can't assume that SQL Server knows what time zone your data's in. Is it in UTC? Is it in your local time zone? Who knows, SQL Server doesn't. And that's why it's important that if you do wanna make these kinds of conversions simple by using at time zone, you need to include that time zone offset data as part of the original data type. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe by pressing the button below. That way you'll never miss a weekly video so you can continue improving your SQL knowledge on a regular basis. And with that, I'll see you next week. Thanks.